Hey guys, Dave here, and welcome back to another one. Today, we are actually going to be making history. Yes, today, as far as I know it, is the first day of squirrel in Pennsylvania in September. This year, the Game Commission set up a thing where there's an early squirrel hunt, and today is opening day, September 12th, and we are going to be a part of it. pretty good and uh, I know I've shot squirrels down here through before so but this foliage is uh, totally different hunting you know it's uh, <clears throat> it's not like it, it is in the fall late fall when the leaves are off the trees and you can see that much farther uh, everything's real close up on you here and uh, <clears throat> I did hear one shot here down around here this morning um, but not sure where it was. So I'm just going to hang out here and for a little bit and uh, see what goes on. There are tons of stone rows in here. There used to be old farm down, down through here. And uh, <clears throat> those are great places. So I'm going to hunt here for a little while. If I don't see anything, uh, I'll move down to one of the stone rows. All right, catch you in a bit. Here's one. That's the first one. There we go. It's a good one. I had a 12 gauge because I tell you, it's tough with this foliage here um, to make, make those shots. If they stop in front of the leaf or anything else, it's it's just tough. Well, one in the bag. Okay, let's pick up some shells here. Nobody likes a litter bug, right? Trying to do our best to keep keep everything like we were never here. Actually had to shoot him with number eight shot because uh, I went into Walmart to pick up some ammo the other day and the shelves were absolutely bare 
there was one box of number 12 eight shot and that was it uh, I, I talked to the associate there and he said we had just stocked these shelves to overflowing and it, you're talking maybe 20 feet long and four shelves high like 18 inches two feet deep he said these were overflowing we even had stuff up on top and he says people came in and in four days that's all I got was one <laughs> one box of number eight shells and uh, I was like wow I mean I don't know what's going on but everybody is buying ammunition like it's going out of style I don't know if it's COVID or the election or what, but um, guns and ammunition are flying off the shelf. And so, anyway. Like I said, this is a good spot down in here. Let's hang out here a little more. And uh, we'll uh, see if there's any more that comes through here. If not, we'll move down over. I know some other spots with stone rows. And it was about <clears throat> quarter to quarter to eight he came through. So anyway, I know there's tons of them in here. We just got to find them. All right, let's move on up over the hill here. And uh, there's a stone row. And uh, we'll skirt down along there. And we'll see what, uh, what we can find. We've already got one in the bag. And uh, maybe there's a couple more. All right, let's see who goes. Squirrel up there, the bits keep dropping. There he is, there he is, he's up there. Oh guys, are you with me for that? That was, that was something. I knew there was a squirrel up there. I could, I could see the droppings like where he was cutting the, the nuts apart. And then I, he was up in that tree there. And so what I did was I, I kept looking, kept looking. All of a sudden I saw him jump. And so I fired and hit him. He went over the other tree and fired again that time the camera blew off my head sorry about that and uh, it just was a uh, an epic thing took me he ran down the tree and fell down I wish I would have got it all for you but I'm sorry uh, anyway um, that's where it is and uh, he's over here let's go go pick him up I picked up all my shells and he lays over here I gotta fasten that to my head better next time. Yeah, it was over here someplace. There he is. I tell you what, this number eight shot is not, is just not doing. Uh, justice. Um, it's taken me a couple of shots. I usually use like a number six shot. And uh, so it's taken a little bit.
to get through them. Anyway, another one in the bag. Let's keep moving on. I tell you, it is absolutely awesome out here. Um, it's the beautiful sunrise. It, it was actually a little cool this morning. And you know, this is, this is creation. It's beautiful. And I don't know whether you realize it or not, but the God who made this, his, his creation, is a reflection of him. And, uh, you know, it, it points us to him. You know, Romans 1.20 talks about that through creation, his invisible attributes, his power, and all that he is, it, it points to us to him so that we're without excuse. And we don't have any excuse for, for not knowing God or saying, uh, he can't exist because he does. And he's shown that evidence in the, in the creation and the beauty of everything. Look at all this. And, uh, you know, it's my desire through putting these videos up that you might also know the joy in uh, knowing God through Jesus Christ that I do. And so, guys, I have written several books that you can find most of them on Amazon or Barnes and Nobles. And, uh, but I want to give them to you free. I think, um, I think the greatest joy in the world is knowing God through Jesus. And so, you know, if you've never had a relationship with God, or maybe you're not walking with God right now, I'd encourage you to check out the books. Uh, the, the links to them are all in the description below. And all you have to do is click on them and read them. There's no, uh, there's no email required or any other information that I, that's needed. Um, so they're there for you. They're free of charge. So check them out. And, uh, you know, if you're liking this video and uh, if you're out there today and making history in the Pennsylvania squirrel opener in September, put a comment in the link below. I'd like to hear about it. I'd like to hear about your adventure today as well. Yeah. This is awesome, man. Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me today on this historic hunt. It's never going to take place again, so that I thought was kind of cool. Hey, um, you know, if you like our channel, I'd really encourage you to take a minute and just hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you be up to date on all the videos as soon as they come out. And uh, make sure you check out the books in the description below. Again, they're free and hopefully they'll help point you uh, back to having a right and better relationship with God. Until next time, thanks so much for joining me, and God bless you guys.